let's have a look at the basics of the K9. So obviously it's a new Cattell phone. Uh, we've had uh, quite a few of these in the family. My son used to have them before he got, uh, well, before I passed the S10 Plus on to him. Um, it, this one comes with a screen protector, which is a good thing because uh, they're very hard to fit in some cases, screen protectors, but a factory fitted one, you get no bubbles underneath it or anything. The only downside I would say to this one is, it's not one of those that, um, that doesn't leave finger marks on it. So uh, depending how you're looking at the screen, you can see finger marks. But apart from that, you also get a case with it. So let's just pop the case off. Because again, cases can be uh, hard to come by if it's, um, if it's not a, a popular phone like a Samsung or an Apple. So that comes with it. And this is the actual phone itself. On the back, we've got a twin camera and the flash. Uh, we've also got the fingerprint there. And if we turn it over, it's just opened because it's also, um, if I show you on here, it's got the face unlock, so you can set it up for face unlock, which it just did then. So let's just turn that off and I'll show you. Turn it back on again while it's looking at me and it opens. Or if I take my face out of it and I turn it and then use the fingerprint, it opens that way. So off, fingerprint, and there you go. So it's quite fast on both of those. Just pop it back into the case again and close it. We've got the uh, the raindrop on the front, or the teardrop, whichever you want to call it. And the one thing that I will say about this is the battery is absolutely huge. So it's a 6,000 uh, megaampere one, and it just seems to last forever from a charge. All right, so as for the charger, just move that to one side. So that's the charging brick that it comes with and this is a fast charger 5 volt 5 amp this is my own USB-C cable it does come with one but I just prefer to use this one and then obviously that just clicks into the bottom there um, for the size of the battery like I said that's 6000 ampere uh, it is a very, very fast charge, but then that charge stays with the phone for absolutely ages. Right, we'll just have a quick look at the SIM and memory extension slot now. So you can't use one that doesn't come supplied with it unless it's one that's very long, like the one that does come supplied with it, because if you use any generic ones that are just lying around, what you will probably find when I get it is that when you put it in, it just goes in and it doesn't actually do anything. So you need the longer one, that goes in, and then the tray just pops out. And what we've got there is, we've got the, we've got the SIM card, but we've also got a micro SD card there, which I will, look there. I'll just pop them both out. Right, so the SIM card obviously just goes into the like so. And the micro SD card, now, I don't know if you can read it, but that's 128 um, gigabyte of RAM. So that, when you put it in the right way, is a huge memory extension. It comes as a standard with a 64 gig of RAM for the memory. Oops. do this again yeah it comes with 64 gig of ram i think it comes with 64 gig of memory as standard but if you use the sd card that's a fair old memory extension that right so back in and we've got the vodafone um right i'm going to do the I think when I've taken that out, I have to do uh, a cord to open it up. But once that's done, we can, as I said, just, uh, just do the, the face open or the finger open on the back. There we go. So we've lined them all up here. We've got the XR, the 8 Plus, 10 Plus, and then the biggie, the K9. I just want to put it into perspective, the differences in the screen. So this is two years old. This is um, just a few months old, this. And then obviously this is brand new. And this is relatively new as well, the, uh, the XR. Right. 
that obviously that's got a, a notch in it that's got the the top missing that's got the camera there and that's got the teardrop or the raindrop if i put that across there you can see just how much bigger each of the screens are but just look at the difference in size with the with the um with the k9 compared to even the 8 plus or the xr I'm just going to take that off i'm going to bring the 10 plus down um and we'll just in fact i'll just move this around right so you can see how much wider that is against the 8 plus and also the against the xr it's just an, an absolutely huge phone there we go it's just an absolutely huge phone um it doesn't necessarily feel big in the hand so i, I i've got oversized hands or anything like that but it, it's a good size it's a very good size and just to go for the size so in um in centimeters the size of the phone itself is about 17 and a half by um, about eight and a half centimeters so more than more than small enough for a, for a pocket of jeans anyway right so that's the size of the screen that we've just looked at there for comparison purposes i'm going to take out the apple phone and i'm going to take out the samsung 10 plus and we'll compare these with the uh, We'll compare these two. So this is the 8 Plus and obviously the K9. And the reason I'm doing that, it's not fair to uh, to compare a 200 odd pound form to a nearly thousand pound form, whether that's the um, whether that's the XR or the XS, uh, which is what I'm filming on at the moment, or the 10 Plus. So I think this is 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 a fairer uh, comparison for speed and um, and screen etc. Right, we'll just look through the android operating system so this is the latest operating system that's actually on this and if we're going to the settings everything's in there for setting up your uh, your home or your your mobile network uh, what bluetooth devices you've got now at the moment this is connected to my samsung galaxy buds there you go it's connecting and they're connected and it even gives you uh it even gives you the battery that's currently in the Galaxy Bud so almost everything that the uh, that the Samsung devices give you let's just nip out of that um, batteries at 47% let's like say the battery will last for days <laughs> honestly it's superb uh, we'll go over the sound and the screen in a bit you've got your face unlocking your Google accounts etc your fingerprint setup yeah, motion gesture is good so if I just show you some of the things that it can do, so if I go up with three fingers, it brings up the camera, just close that down. Uh, if I go down with three fingers, it'll do a screenshot. Um, if I double tap the home, it locks it, instead of having to press the key on the side. Uh, there was another one, but I've forgotten what that is. Let's, um, let's just open it up back into settings gesture motion oh yeah so if i turn it over it'll silence any any ringing or anything system motion double tap to lock two point adjustment for volume so that will we'll try that so when i'm playing the youtube clip um the two fingers sliding up and down should change that so everything that you would expect from the latest operating system is there. Right, so let's uh, let's do some audio on screen. So uh, we're going to open YouTube on both devices, the S8 Plus and the K9. Okay, what's that? We're going to the library. Right, so. Turn the volume up on this. So, for example, I was spending too much on skip the ads. Skip the ads. This is all in place. Tight, tight. We've got the circle on. 
This is the SA Plus looking here. Down. This is now all nice and tight. This is on there, and we've got the cotter pin keeping it in place. Let's pause that. So all we need. Let's start playing this one. The circling pod that's keeping it in place there, and then coming down. This is now all nice and tight. This is on there, and we've got the cotter pin keeping it in place. So all we. Right. So you can tell straight away there's a bit more bass to the SA Plus and probably a bit more volume as well. Um, however, the K9 still packs a punch in the volume department there. Um, as you can see, two fingers then just brought that up. So do it again. So that, there's your volume and there's your tone. And if we bring it you bring it all the way down like that you've just got your vibrate so that's your volume all the way up that's it and then oops, when that goes off let's click off it that's your volume all the way down as you can see there so that's a nice little touch right so also although the screen isn't as bright on the k9 as it is on the samsung uh the screen is still 2244 by 1080p and it is that massive 7.12 inch screen. It's absolutely huge. Uh, absolutely huge. Okay, let's have a look at the camera. We'll take that back, bring the camera up. Right, so there you can see the cup and the plant. Let's take a picture of that. Let's take a picture of that and then we'll zoom in on the on the plant take a picture of that take a few pictures okay let's go to uh, to photos you know I took earlier so yeah, here's a video that I took earlier. Well, it's got stabilisation on the video. It doesn't bounce around all over the place. And it is quite sharp as well. Uh, let's just go out of that. Obviously like geo tags, etc, etc. And this is uh, it's a selfie on the you see all the all the beard hairs there so that's on the front camera taking a selfie and here not too bad lots to play with anyway but again what, what you've got to do is it's that understanding of what this actually is it's a it's a 200 pound plus camera um on a 200 pound plus phone which isn't a thousand pound phone like apple or anything and it does everything else and the screen is nice and bright it's got the latest operating system on it it's running on a helio p35 octa-core processor um and that's running at, i think it's 2.3 gigahertz uh or megahertz sorry um comes supplied with four gig of ram and 64 gig of rom and as you saw earlier i've upgraded that already to uh to put another 128 gig of uh of memory onto it the cameras on the back so you've got your two cameras uh one's a 16 megapixel one and the other one's a two megapixel one with the one on the front being eight megapixels. So that's fine for doing um, for doing selfies. I mean, you saw the selfie, uh, the quality of the selfie. I'm not saying that the person in the selfie was fantastic, but certainly the, the selfie was. Um, and then these are all the apps that I've got on there. And obviously, if you've already got uh, an Android phone, then it's easy to transfer all your apps and your settings across and then download anything you've got from the, from the backup. So that, for me, is an excellent phone. Um, it's thin, not too heavy, 
It's a huge screen and to say it's so big, it's not heavy at all. You've got your fingerprint sensor on the back. You've got your face recognition on the front. You've got your gesture control that comes with the Android um, operating system. The camera isn't the best camera in the world, um, but it's not a thousand pound phone. Um, and, and I can't stress that enough. This is excellent for the price. This is a big recommendation. All right, so now we're going to have a look at gaming on the K9. I'm going to hand this uh, little bit over to my gaming expert, my son Jensen. So he's going to talk us through and just uh, tell us how smooth it is or not smooth it is and what he likes about it compared to the one that he normally plays on, which is the S8 Plus, the Samsung S8 Plus. So, just loading into the game now. It loads up very fast compared to the other phone. Okay then, so it, it runs really smooth when you're looking for different arenas to play in and it's very easy to use. What about the size of the screen compared to the other one, Jensen? It's really big so I can get better angles with it. Is it loud enough for you? Yeah. During the time that you've been playing it, have you seen any glitches or anything like that that it does? No, it re well, sometimes it just likes to just get itself sorted and then it'll fix itself back again. Making an easy go. So what about the screen? Is the screen bright enough? Yeah, it's very bright. What do you like best about it? Probably the size because it's easier to make angles. Okay, alright. So you're going to carry on playing on this, eh? Yeah. Okay then.